Welcome to the Arduino programming series. In this video, I will teach you how to write an LED library. First, we need to save our sketch so it creates a folder to store our header file and our C file. For this example, I will save mine as LED library. Then, we need to create a new tab and name this file ledlib.cpp. Then create another new tab, name this file ledlib.h. I write down what I will need in my library and what functions I should add. This helps keep track of the code and the progress. I will add functions such as blinks, fade on, fade off, and pulse. It's required to include the Arduino header file so that our header has access to the standard Arduino functions. In the header, we need to create a class. A class contains the functions and the variables that this class will access. A semicolon is required after each class, and this is only required in the header file. Functions and variables can either be public or private. Public functions and variables can be accessed by the sketch. Private variables and functions can only be accessed by that class. We need to create our construct in the public, and then create a variable for that construct to use in private. The CPP file also requires us to include the Arduino header file so that it can access the standard Arduino functions. And then we will need to include our header file. The format for setting up the functions is simple. The class, two colons, and then the function. These will be spelled the same as in the header file. The header file acts as a pointer so that our sketch can access the functions and variables within the library. In this case, our class is ledlib and our function is ledlib with the variable pin passed. So we need to type the class, two colons, the function, open bracket, close bracket. This function will be the construct. This is the function that is executed when an instance of the class is created. We will need to save the pin to a variable. I used a private variable TMP pin and then set the pin mode to output. Next, we include the header file in the sketch. We create an instance by typing the class, a variable to use as the instance, and then the function for our construct. Pin 13 is not a PWM pin, but I'm going to use it for this example. So far we've set up the header file, the CPP file, and the function that is our construct. Next, we will create a function called blinks. This function will blink the LED according to the variables that we pass it. We need to set up the function in the header file. And it will be passed two variables, count for how many times it blinks, and delay ms for the total time it will take to complete the blinks. In the CPP file, we lay out the function in the same format we did the construct. The class, the function, and the variables passed open bracket, closed bracket. Count is the number of times the LED will blink. Delay MS is the total time of the blinks. We use this equation to set delay MS to the amount of delay we need per step. 
It is good to use the for loop to control the blinks. For a blink, we need to set the LED high and then set the LED low. The function blinks is now added to the library. To use this function in our sketch, we simply type our instance LED1 dot blinks and in the parentheses we set the amount of times we want it to blink and the duration of the blinks. Now that the function blinks is finished, we will move on to the fade on function. To add a fade on function, we will set it up in the header file similar to the blinks function. We will only need to pass the amount of delay time since it is just fading on. This equation divides the delay by the amount of steps in the for loop. The for loop will fade from 0 to 255. To call this function in our sketch, we simply type led1.fadeon and in the parentheses we put the amount of time we want it to fade. Now that we've added a fade on function, we can put a fade off function as well. To do this we follow the same steps as we did with the fade on. The only difference in this one is that in the for loop we start from 255 and go down to zero. Everything else is the same. The last function to add to our library is Pulse. In the Pulse function we will use the fade on and fade off functions that we previously created. The delay is divided by 2 before it is passed to each function. Half the time fade on and half the time fade off. Hopefully by now you can create your own libraries and add your own functions. If you have any questions, leave down in the comments. I hope you guys learned something. Have a nice day.